To set up the TI-83 so that we can graph the normal distribution and actually see the normal curve being shaded in for appropriate areas, we need to do the following steps. First, we'll go to the stat plot menu, which is just over the y equal to in yellow, and be sure that all of the plots 1, 2, and 3 are turned off. To turn off the plot, simply go to the plot by using the Enter key, move the cursor to the Off position, and then select Enter. And now that plot is turned off. To go back to the home screen, use the second Quit command. Next, we'll check the Y equal to button. We'll see if there are any equations under the Y equal to button. And if there are, just simply clear them. And now we'll go back to the home screen. The next step is to set up the window by going to the Window button. Once you have opened the window, now input the values that you see here. The first value for X minimum is negative 3.2. Be certain to use the negative button immediately next to the Enter key and not the minus sign. Input the other values very carefully. For the Y minimum, be sure to enter the negative 0.12. For the Y maximum, 0.45. The Y scale, 0.1. And finally, the X resolution equal to 1. If you would like the normal curve being drawn out for you, like you see in this diagram, that can be accomplished by going to the Y equal to button. And under Y1, we're going to input a distribution. And the distribution can be found under the distribution key by hitting the yellow second button and then the varies key. Select out number one by either hitting the number one or hitting the enter key. The variable that we'll be putting here will be x. We can do that by hitting the key that you see next to the stat key. And now once again, let's return to the home page by using the second quit command. You can view the result of these changes by simply hitting the graph key. It takes a minute for this to load. And here we have the normal curve drawn on our screen. If you simply want the axes without the normal curve, go to the Y equal to button and then hit the clear key. And now when we hit the graph key, we see we only have the axes on which the normal curve will be drawn. We can save this graph, which we can refer to later by using the draw button, which is found over the program key in yellow by hitting second draw. Now go to the store menu and under the store menu, select number three. Number three says store GDB, which stands for graph database. We're going to give this a name, the number one, and then hit enter. If you want to retrieve this graph, we will go to the draw button again over the program key. Go to the store menu, select number four, recall graph database, specifically graph database number one and hit enter and it says done which means when we look at the window the window will have returned to the window used to graph the normal curve and that's how we set up the ti-83 or ti-84 so that we can graph the normal distribution using commands like the shade normal function